I am scared, worried. Whoa, hold up a second. I don't know if you can see the goosebumps. I must have a problem. Oh my gosh. Whoa. <sighs> I'm giving this up. What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am trying out a new thriller author and that's because you guys have recommended this author to myself and also Gwen and Jesse when we are on the Rex by the Bottle live show, which is a thriller recommendations live show that we do quarterly. Now you guys have recommended for us to read Chevy Stevens, which surprisingly none of us actually had read before. So it was really weird to find a thriller author that all three of us have never read a single book by before. So this is a collab video with my friend Gwen over at Gwendolyn Kensinger and my friend Jesse over at Reading with Jess. And I will link all of their channels down below so you guys can go check them out, especially because we all have a video coming out today while you're watching this video. They also have their own versions of this video and we all decided to read a different Chevy Stevens book. Now I actually picked up two Chevy Stevens books. These were the ones that I was most excited for. Gwen is actually reading Still Missing, so I'm deciding to read those girls for this vlog. But I actually picked up both of these from a new outlet book online store that sells used books. And I only paid $3.88 for each of these. And they are hardcover, very, very nice books. So I actually have a whole video where I do a haul and you can see me opening these books and I talk about the website and you know the free shipping and I have a discount code and all that kind of stuff. So I'll link it up here for you guys if you want to go check it out. But I'm just really excited that like it worked out that I didn't have to buy these books for you know brand new prices. I was able to get them for such a discount. So I'm really excited to try this author out and see if I like her books. Okay so I'm reading this one's actually bigger than the other one. I'm like mm, huh, God bad to pick the big one, huh? That's what she said. <laughs> this is Those Girls by Chevy Stevens. And this book says, life has never been easy for the three Campbell sisters. They live on a remote ranch in Western Canada. That's kind of cool. Where they work hard and try to stay out of the way of their father's temper. One night a fight gets out of hand and the sisters are forced to go on the run only to get caught in an even worse nightmare when their truck breaks down in a small town. As events spiral out of control, they find themselves in a horrifying situation and are left with no choice but to change their names and create new lives. 18 years later, they are still trying to forget what happened that summer, but one of the sisters goes missing, falling closely by her niece. So I guess they're gonna have to figure out where they are. I am scared that this is going to be a detective-ish crime thriller. Now don't get me wrong, like I do read Karen Slaughter. Like Karen Slaughter, I liked The Good Daughter and I love Pretty Girls. Like one of my favorite books of all time. But I am worried about this just not vibing with me. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it, okay? Like, I, I'm very particular. I don't know why. I'm sorry that I'm very picky and stingy with my stars and stuff, but we're gonna just see. Thankfully, it looks like it does have pretty big font, so that's a plus. I also was able to check out the audiobook on Libby. I'm gonna be listening to it and reading it all day today, maybe part of tomorrow. I'm not sure exactly how long it's gonna take me, but this does, this vlog has to go out very shortly because I wait to the last minute on things. Okay, so this does have a 3.91 rating on Goodreads and there's 23,000 ratings. So I guess a lot of people read this author and I just never knew about them before. Like, I must have a problem, but it is, okay, Praise for Chevy Stevens Novels by Jillian Flynn, Lisa Gardner, Karen Slaughter, Kimberly McCree, Jennifer McMahon, like, oh, Al Far Burke, like, I know all of these, or most of these authors, like those are really big authors, so. Oh, Megan Abbott. Obviously, I just don't know how to read. Cool, let's try it out. I will say that if I have any negative thoughts about this book before four o'clock, it's probably because I'm grouchy because I'm fasting for 20 hours today. And so I can't eat or drink coffee until four o'clock in the afternoon. It is um, 10 minutes after 11, so I still have five hours to go. Oh, hey, look, Jess. Hold up a second. 
So this is literally page seven, chapter one, and I promise I won't have spoilers in this vlog. It will be spoiler free, but I feel like since it's page seven, this isn't a spoiler. Um, she, so the sisters are like at a gas station trying to get stuff because they're like running away, I guess already. Um, and one of the girls said like, oh, do you remember when dad used to buy us like, you know, these chocolate bars for Christmas? And then she said something about how it had only been three days since I killed him. So one of the daughters, I guess, killed the dad. That was July 1997, and now the next chapter is three days earlier. So I guess I'll find out like what kind of happened because I, I really don't know. Like they're just running away. That's all I know, so. Whoa. Guys, can you see? I don't know if you can see the goosebumps that are on my arms. Anyway, I couldn't capture the goosebumps because my uh, camera did not want to focus, but whoa. Chapter three was so thrilling. Oh my gosh. It was literally a, a whole like chapter scene of their dad coming home drunk and him like getting angry, abusing them, like trying to drown the one daughter in the toilet, like plunging her head in the toilet and him just like going off on a bunch of different things. Like they're just trying to like, you know, keep him like calm and happy and stuff. And it got so bad that the one daughter, Jess, like she shot her dad. Well, like she shot him in the shoulder and then he like came after her and was like, I'm going to kill you. And so she pulled the trigger again and literally shot him in the head. So that is super crazy. I was literally on the edge of my seat reading like that whole, the way that Chevy Stevens wrote that was so good. And it might even be because I'm listening to the audiobook, but like, and it, it's only one like voice actor, but still I was like, <sighs> like that is crazy nuts. Oh my gosh, so that was really good. So I am on chapter four now, um, page like 29. So it has been super good so far. I am loving the writing style. I don't feel like it's bland or boring or anything. So this is really great. I might, I might be finding a new thriller author I love. Oh my gosh, you guys. This book is so good, okay? I am now on page 125. I just got to chapter 12. And this is one of the most thrilling thrillers I have ever read. Like, I am feeling as if I'm reading, like, Stillhouse Lake all over again. You know, some of the thrillers that have been my favorites that, like, I literally just read in a day and I just devoured and, like, so much. It was just action-packed. I would say this book reminds me of Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter mixed with Stillhouse Lake by Rachel Kane. Like, putting both of those together makes this book because it is so dark and disturbing just like pretty girls there's so many trigger warnings in here there are very um detailed descriptions of like the girls um being raped and just very many bad things that are happening to them it's just oh my gosh it is so dark and there's this one part in here let me just give you i guess like a brief synopsis so in like the first chapter we read about the girls like packing up everything and kind of like leaving but we didn't know like why or when and then that's when um jess mentions that like she killed their father um so then it backtracks like three days beforehand and it shows like their father being an alcoholic and how he was like abusing them and how jess ends up killing their father so then it kind of just goes back to the original like chapter one where like they are on the run so now we know why they're on the run and they um their truck breaks down and they get stuck with like this group of guys that own this like what are those called like shops you know automobile shops whatever car shops i can't think of the word right now but you know what i mean like repair shops oh my gosh wasp go away please 
anyway so these guys are like oh yeah we'll help you out like we'll fix your truck no they ended up becoming really really awful people and lots of really really bad things happened to these girls so that was like a big part of what i was reading i would say that that part lasts about 80 ish pages like it is a lot of pages of reading about all of the things the guys are doing to them um so they finally escape they are with this other guy and his son and they're like going to be helping them um go on like a train to vancouver because they're just trying to run as far away as possible um but this guy and his son they're like gonna feed the girls because like the girls are always so hungry because they've been starved for years probably and he was like oh like let me make you some sandwiches danny jess and courtney um but one of them was like oh my gosh please just please don't make peanut butter sandwiches and like because i read the parts of what those guys did to them um like they would feed them peanut butter sandwiches but then there was just so much torture involved so it like really it like gave me ghost goosebumps and like broke my heart to think that like they will never be able to eat or look at or probably smell like peanut butter or a peanut butter sandwich like ever in their whole life you know it's just ridiculous like what people go through and then you know how like I don't know people that are pregnant like if you get sick off of something or if you had nausea during something then like you can't do that anymore well like think about being tortured and raped and like a peanut butter sandwich like triggering those memories like ugh, that is terrible anyway it has been such a good read it is just con constant action packed constant like my heart being just pumping goosebumps on my arms like oh my gosh this is a very good book and i would not be surprised if i like read this all in a day i just don't know like alvin will be home in a couple hours so i'm hoping i can still read it like when he's home but i could totally i could i could just i could devour this whole book i could like it's really good you guys and i am pretty positive that i'm going to be rating it very high if not having a favorite five star thriller for this year Plus, the writing style is so good that I know that I'm going to love other Chevy Stevens books. Like, I'm pretty sure this author is, like, for me. So, I'm really glad that I picked up Still Missing, and I'm gonna have to go and look at some of her other books. I know there's That Night, which I think is the one that Jessie's reading, um, but then I think she has a couple more, so. Okay, let's pretend I don't look like this, okay? curly girl right here i have gel and everything in my hair but anyway i was editing my chevy stevens vlog and i just wanted to let you guys know that i actually went and ordered four more books you probably can't see this four more books of chevy stevens from that second sale site and i got them all for three dollars and 88 cents so i did buy never let you go i'll pop it up right here so never let you go never knowing always watching and that night since i already had those girls and still missing so i am so excited i literally got all of those plus free shipping for a total of 1636 and like i said this is the same site that i talked about in the beginning of this vlog and i'm just so glad that they had chevy stevens books because guys i i love this author okay what can i say she also has a new one coming out which i think is called like dark storm okay i just got to part two mm, that was my phone um and it has the name skyler and the voice started changing for my audiobook um i only listened to like the first sentence or so and it's july 2015 now so I think I might know who this is, but you guys don't know because I can't tell you what happened in the part that I was just reading because um, it's just like too many spoilers, but still really enjoying it. Something that I didn't think would happen was happening and that's what I think this like twist is about. Um, but yeah, I'm wondering, is it, is it only two parts or I wonder if there's three parts in this book? I actually didn't even realize that there were parts in this book. Oh yeah, I see a part three. Part three is a Jamie and Skylar, so yeah, don't know. Um, but I am 
about 162 pages. This book is 376 pages. So I am this far, almost halfway, um, still really, really enjoying it. Hello, I hope it's not too windy. It might be windy, I hope you can hear me. But anyway, I'm on a walk. Um, it's like, it's 5.16. Um, we had an early dinner and I am going to try and finish up the Chevy Stevens book that I'm reading. It's actually a super nice day out. Like it was raining and there are like some clouds and stuff, um, but it like poured this morning, but it is super nice. Like it's probably only like 70 degrees out right now. It's gorgeous and hardly hot at all. Today would have been a great time for me to like walk to town, but I didn't. So I am still really, really loving um, this book. Gosh, the sun is making my eyeballs water. And it has like flash forward um, a bunch of years, but like I knew it was going to do that because of the synopsis. Um, but it still is very intriguing. Um, the one character, she, oh my gosh, she's like so stupid. I'm like so mad at her right now. Um, but it still, it has been a very, very fast paced, intriguing book and I can't wait to finish it. I'm at 82% and then I will give you guys my like final update and what I thought of the whole thing. Okay, you guys, I finished those girls. I just got back from my walk and I quick took a shower. I ended up um, burning a lot of calories. I burned 524 calories. It was a 66 minute walk because I was listening to the rest of the audiobook and I ended up getting 82, almost 8,300 because I was like editing all day. So I had zero steps before that, but okay, those girls, this was such a good book. I'm giving this five stars. This author is now going to be probably one of my favorites because I really, really, really enjoyed the writing style. This was not a boring book at all. The like writing was not too dense to get into. I just thought it had such a nice flow to it. I really loved all of the characters. I thought that they were written really well. I thought that they were all very different so I didn't get them mixed up. It was such a thrilling book. I will say that this isn't a thriller that is going to like have all these twists and turns that you don't see coming. Like it is more of a survival like edge of your seat thriller. So don't go into it thinking that like, you know, all of this stuff is going to blow your mind. It's literally just a very dark, disturbing survival, like on the run from really terrible people thriller. So that is why I'm rating it really high because I like, I had so much anxiety like reading this and oh my gosh, the epilogue, I was literally tearing up at the epilogue. I love this book because everything was not wrapped in a tiny little bow at the end. I just love it, I'm sorry. Some people might be upset by it, but I thought it worked out perfectly. It's exactly how I want my thrillers to end. And it's just like, it's the first time where I actually feel like an epilogue was done well and should be there at the end. Like it's not like a, oh, 10 years later and we're all happy and married and happily ever after. No, this epilogue was like giving me chills, um, just like showing you even more of the side of one of the characters and it was just it was good like you guys need to read this book like i said i do have this one which is still missing it's actually even shorter than this one so that's like them compared to each other and i think this is the one gwen read and all of our videos are coming out all at the same time so i honestly don't know what everyone thought of their books but i'm definitely gonna have to pick this one up soon because this one is about someone else that's abducted um and is like held captive in a remote cabin so like i love books that are like survival um you know captive books like you guys saw that i loved like dear child i i don't know why they're just like ones that are the most appealing to me so i cannot wait to read this one i'm so excited i'm gonna go on second sale and see if they have any more chevy stevens titles 
that I can get for a very good like cheap price because I'm also sending this to my sister to read next because she usually waits until I like rate a thriller book you know really high and something that I know that she's going to like and I'm pretty sure she's going to like this one so I'm sending those off for her um, and so I want to add to my collection because if we both really like this author then I can have her borrow all the books. I, I guess I'll go through just a really quick little synopsis again but I think that you guys kind of got the gist of it just by my other clips but this is about three sisters. Um, their dad is like a drunk alcoholic. He abuses them. Um, one of the daughters ends up killing him and so then they have to go on the run because they don't want to go into foster care they had been in foster care before because their mom died i think she got like hit by like a hay truck or something like that it was really crazy so they want to go in foster care again because they were split up before and they had really bad experiences with foster care so they run away they don't tell anyone that they killed their dad um and well while, while they're running away they get um kind of like kidnapped or abducted and like tortured and raped by these guys that are like fixing their truck that's like one of the reasons why it is very dark but then the story fast forwards to like i think it's like 18 years later that says 18 years later then like things are happening again and so i i can't really tell you much more than that because then that's like giving away part of like the story that's like exciting um but just know that it's like super dark tons of trigger warnings um but i hope you guys really really like it that's it for this video make sure that you check out jesse and gwen's videos because they also read chevy stevens books different from the one that i read so it'll be very interesting to see how we liked all the books that we were reading and if you've read from this author before definitely let me know which book i should pick up next like i'm pretty sure i'm gonna read still missing but if you have another favorite by this author, let me know so I can pick it up and add it to my collection. But I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys very soon in another video. Bye everyone.